Hi everyone. In this video, let's try to understand how did we provision, uh, how can we pro enable backup for the virtual machines. In the previous videos, we have tried deploying the SQL servers and the backend servers and the front end servers, and we have uh, deployed custom policies and uh, we have configured an update management solution. So in this in this one, we'll be deploying enabling backup solutions for the front backend servers. Now, how do we configure that? Now I'll open a text file and look for Terraform Azure VM Backup. And here we have a backup policy for the VM. So first we have to create a recovery service vault. So I'm going to copy a recovery service vault and provision that recovery service vault in Terra-app. But I'll go and prefer the resource group for this recovery service vaults in a different location entirely and for that i am going to keep this beside and say terra recovery recovery dot archie and i'll keep the location itself as east asia and copy this and use this resource group location and everything and i'm going to mention this as app recovery vault and i'm going to leave this queue as standard but here i'm going i don't want uh, a soft delete option to be enabled because whenever i do a destroy the soft delete option will create an option issue so i look at recovery service vault and the soft delete option has been enabled as true but i will make it as false now once the backup has the uh, vault has been created the rest of uh, we have to create a backup policy and that is what we have previously looked at backup policy for virtual machines and this is the backup policy for the virtual machines. Uh, and that is copy this and paste it here. And I use Terra app. And I'm going to mention here backend VMs. daily backup policy and the resource group where this has to be going is test app recovery Terra recovery and the vault is also Terra app or I can actually even keep this as recovery to make it easier and uh, I'm going to name this also I think so we are in good shape Terra recovery everything is appropriate recovery name and the recovery service vault and here Terra recovery and then the daily backup solution and now once this is done I have to enable the backup solution for the backend machines so once only the backend machines are being created only then I would like the uh, recovery service vault to be created so for that i am going and mentioning that after the completion of backend only then go and enable the recovery so for that depends on and uh, i'm going to mention here dot so once the recovery has been done then it's, that's going to do it 
and I have to go inside the uh, backend instance and I'll configure here the backend solution for the VM. So how will I do that? I have an so this is a service which is being utilized here which is Azure RM protected. So this is going to enable uh, Azure RM backup protected VM. This is going to enable the backup solution for the VMs. So here I'm going to use Terra app backend and the resource group where uh, this has to be set up as Terra recovery and the vault name but the source of the virtual machines is Terra app backend and that is Azure virtual machines so there could be numerous backend machines right so what we have to do is uh, we have to enable count equal to 2 and we have to mention here count dot index so that each machine can be enabled for this backup policy and the recovery service vault this is Terra recovery that ID and I think the source ID VMs everything is working well now we can actually do install recovery.tf and I'm going to the screen I'm, I have the recovery.tf I'm going to do Terraform validate and see whether it's everything is going well or not so now I do a Terraform plan I should not see any runtime exceptions let's see how that goes now to test this we have a so in, the deployment can take a lot of time so instead uh, I'll create I'll copy this it main instance and main and network and recovery and only test this So I could see the plan has been there is no front end image that was the only issue so that is the reason I, I deleted all the resources in my resource group and that is the reason why I have for the machines to create I need to have the backend instance and everything in place so to ensure that I can check the machines are working or not one thing which I can do is I will uh, enable uh, I'll do the same thing for the for the testing point of view. I'll try to do the same thing in here. So it's pretty easy for testing because we are going to limit the resources, number of resources and everything. So I'm going to only here utilize this and network KLA only admin is enough and I don't need uh, policies and just testing uh, for a smaller group of sections and see how that is going on I'm going to keep this as Central India even I can keep another region that's not a problem so admin instances I am ensuring that 
removing the any other extra things so this and extensions i am deleting it so i can only spend my uh, testing only on the recovery.tf so there is this and i'll mention that only after the admin instance is creating created okay so this is good and here it should be a uh, terra admin so to each machine to do this and terra recovery is a resource group so everything is this is good now i'll just limit the testing to one virtual machine and the same thing here also i'll limit it to one and i'll do a uh, so instead of doing the testing on the entire uh, uh, stuff we can actually do only on this so here i'll do terraform and add and then i'll do a terraform plan and see for only for the, whether we are able to enable the backup for the virtual machine alone and if you are able to do that and from just cross checking it then the same thing can be work out for the this machines also Installing the Azure RM. It's taking so the Terraform has installed the plugin. Then I do a Terraform plan and see whether the plan is going well. This plan worked well, so I'll do a Terraform deploy. Apply FM auto approve and let's wait for the deployment to get completed. It's going to take around two, three, five minutes for the deployment to complete. So it seems the deployment is still happening, and I will cancel it and I will taint the resource. Taint uh, this one. So I'll ask to recreate it. There was no resource, so import. Uh, so when there is no resource, we can import the document. And so we can have we have to provide the resource ID of this, and we can go to the configuration properties of this VM and get the resource ID and do Terraform import and uh, because currently what is happening the state file is uh, the state file of the machine the state file is not has not been updated with azure rm being uh, uh, azure virtual machine that is the reason why it didn't work out right now if we look at terraform state list we will be having windows virtual machine right now and right now i'll do a terraform taint and that should recreate the machine now i'll do a terraform apply so, so this is how you troubleshoot and actually when the deployment is getting failed so it's going ahead and destroying the virtual machine and recreating that virtual machine once again 
So let's wait for the deployment to get completed. So I could also see that the backup is taking a longer time for the enabling and everything. So one thing which we can do here is in that kind of case, I could see that recovery service vault is being created. And uh, if I go into the backup jobs, we could actually see that uh, the currently for that instance, when it is trying to be enabled, it was uh, creating an, uh, it was failed. So we can actually go and rerun the deployment and uh, specifically the backup will be uh, enabled right now. But uh, we could see that the backup is, uh, we have to configure the backup very properly. So when you are trying to use it in your uh, services, you have to ensure that first the instances are being created and then only go ahead and create uh, uh, the backup instance. So without this, uh, we will be facing definitely an errors because uh, if at all the VM has is, is been recently created, and uh, it will take some time for the VM agent to be established. So in that kind of case, uh, there should be, a, it will be an issue to enable the backup solution. So to reduce this error, either you can first configure the entire infrastructure and then separately configure a solution to enable backup for the virtual machines. Now at this point of time, we are, uh, uh, that's my recommendation. Either you wait for some time for the uh, machines to be getting created and then deploy this solution or uh, the uh, one way is to ensure that you keep a depends on uh, and depends on feature and ensure that first the virtual machines are all created and then only uh, go ahead and create the recovery service vault and then you will not be uh, facing any kind of issues here. So the backup config is configured and if I could actually look at the backup items, I could see the virtual machine is also in place. And I can actually look from the VM point of view also. So if I go and select the backup option, I should be able to see uh, that the VM has been configured with backup for the app security recovery service vault. Now it can similarly do the same thing here. So please ensure that you're keeping enabling this solution at the end of the final stages after every resource has been created so this way we can ensure that everything is running and smoothly and everything and everything is running smoothly so thank you guys so i'll deploy destroy this yeah, infrastructure please remember to destroy your infrastructure after you have deployed it Thank you.